Hey everyone, I've been a little busy lately, but I don't want to leave you without a video this week, so I thought I'd review some of the latest economic data that's come out and have a little chat. Also, if you like these kind of videos, just let me know in the comment section and I can make more like this in the future. Okay, let's have a look at some data. So the data we'll be taking a look at today are the IMF's latest GDP estimates for 2021. And as you probably know, such data varies between institutions and specifically this year's data, which has been particularly volatile. But there are a few changes that I think are worth sharing with you. So let's get into the data by starting with a new country that has joined the Trillion Dollar Club. That country is the Netherlands and it has become the 17th country to hit this symbolic milestone. And being home to only 17 and a half million people, it is also the least populous country to do so. However, perhaps not for too long. Anyway, the Dutch aren't the only ones passing trillion dollar milestones in the last year. The UK's economy, which managed to maintain the fifth spot globally, surpassed the three trillion dollar mark for the third time having passed it previously in 2007 and 2014. And back on mainland Europe, Germany surpassed the $4 trillion mark for the first time, making it almost a trillion dollars smaller than the Japanese economy. Now, this might sound a little strange to hear economies surpassing milestones when, in effect, all but few economies have actually grown in the last year. But this, though, isn't a miscalculation. Instead, you need to remember that these aren't constant prices. 2021 US dollars don't have the same value as 2009 US dollars. In effect, they are worth less. Also, remember that many of these economies have seen their local currencies strengthen against the US dollar. In the case of the euro and the British pound, that's been nearly 15% in the last year. But anyway, in other movements among the global top dogs, Brazil has fallen from 9th to 13th, and its economy is estimated to be only slightly larger than Spain's. And South Korea has managed to surpass Russia and enter the global top 10, with its economy measured at about $1.8 trillion, similar to Canada's. Moving further down the list, though, Switzerland jumped past Saudi Arabia and Turkey, two countries that have had a pretty turbulent last year. And over in Africa, it's been estimated that Egypt has overtaken South Africa to become the continent's second largest economy, while Kenya broke the $100 billion milestone and became only the sixth African country to do so, and now ranks alongside Slovakia, Puerto Rico and Ecuador. So there you go. During a volatile year for the global economy, there have been many movements in the nominal GDP figures released by the IMF. If any of the movements surprised you, then let me know down in the comments section. Personally, I was surprised to see the Brazilian economy drop to that of Spain's. But I'd like to hear what you have to think. Hi everyone, thanks for watching today's video. If you have any thoughts or comments you'd like to make about the data reviewed, then be sure to write a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video that will be a bit more normal. Okay, take care. Bye.